Yo, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Ducky channel. My name is Everduck, aka Ever, aka Ducky. Whatever you want to refer to me is fine, as long as it has great intentions. That's all I care about. So today we're going to be looking at a general weekly overview for you. I got three cute little piles for you. So, you know, I ain't too fancy. I'm all about simplicity. And so I drew this cute little heart for you, this little smiley, and this little star. So just take some time, if you'd like, to really think about, you know, what, what you want to focus on or, or just something for this week. And really pick a pile, whichever one you're drawn to most, whichever one you feel is great, just pick one. It'll be great. And maybe while you're looking at them, I'm going to tell you a little story. So yesterday, I cut my thumb while I was um, I was cutting some bell peppers. And so my shuffling might be a little bit wonky today. So for that, I'm sorry. But, you know, at least we're here. We out here alive and thriving. So anyway, I hope you're, you've picked out a pile, which you'd what of what you'd like um one that resonates with you and if not feel free to pause the video take some more time that way you don't got to be listening to my 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 duckiness you know and when you're ready let's go all right so let's get ready with pile one if you chose the heart this reading is for you baby boo all right, so we're going to use today my little my little Hobbit tarot deck and my Chakra Oracle deck. So fun fact, whenever I, I do these videos for you, um, I the, the way I choose my decks on for my videos is um, it's the deck that I used for my own spiritual journaling. I try to write in my journal every day. And so every day I draw, I use one Oracle deck and one tarot deck. So this, these are the two decks I used for my spiritual writing, my own personal spiritual writing. So pile one, if you chose the heart, let's get ready for your reading. Yeah, th that ain't going to work. The, the little bridge that I do with my shuffling ain't going to work today. Because I just don't want to, I just don't want to hurt my, my cut. I cut myself and I was freaking out because, um... It took a good, like, more than... It was, like, a good 15 minutes of me, like, putting a pressure on the wound for it to stop bleeding. I thought I was going to die, y'all. Like, no joke. I, I know I'm dramatic. Like, I tell people, I'm like, listen, I'm dramatic. I can be a little dramatic. But, y'all, like, I was starting to freak out. I'm first aid and CPR certified. And I was freaking out. I was like, uh, I was like, and I was home alone. I was like, I really hope I won't need stitches. Thankfully, I didn't. It stopped. But, you know, I really don't want to be shuffling too forcefully you or applying too much pressure on this thumb. So we'll see how it goes. But we're going to get ready. Uh, back to you, Paul. When I'm so sorry. This video ain't about me. Listen, <laughs> it ain't about me. I don't know. I don't know why I'm over here blabbing. But let's get ready. So let's get a good general weekly overview of your of this week for you so these readings or these videos are timeless so whenever you're watching this just know that this is going to be whatever the general overview will be so i'm going to get ready say my mantras and we'll get started All right, so let's get a, a card representing the general theme for your week, Pile 1. What is Pile 1's general theme of the week? All right, what is something Pile 1 is leaving behind? What is something Pile 1 is going to be leaving behind this week? Something Pile 1 might be letting go of. Ooh. These cards are wanting to pop out, so I'll leave them like this. You got the Five of Cups and the Seven of Cups in reverse. We'll keep going. And then I'll flip this one up for you once I'm done. But those wanted to pop out, so we're going to leave that. What is something to look forward to this week? What is something Pile One can look forward to this week? 
Ooh, nice. I like that. That one felt so good. All right. What is what is maybe an obstacle to watch out for this week for pile one? What is an obstacle pile one can watch out for? All right. And let's get you an oracle card. What is what is an oracle card? What is something pile one will be focusing on this week? Yes, we love that. All right, let's let's flip these cards over, shall we? So so something you're letting go of. The 5 of cups in reverse with the 7 of cups in reverse. All right, the main themes for the week are the 8 of wands in reverse. release Ooh, that is beautiful for you this week i love that all right what is an obstacle king of cups hmm ace of swords something to look forward to this week all right we got it okay so let's get ready so pile one the main theme for you this week is with the eight of wands here in reverse accompanied with the release chakra card the spirit chakra card is there's going to be some movement, maybe some some unexpected delays going on with the Eight of Wands here. The Suit of Wands is all about our ambitions. It's all representative of the fire element. Alongside with the, with the Crown Chakra card release, you're releasing a lot of things this week, which might <clears throat> cause some delays, but you're still going to be progressing forward. You're still going to be progressing forward, but these are going to be some delays... Um, that are going to be happening and it's probably because you're releasing a lot of negative energy and let's get into that with with what you're letting go of this is going to resonate beautifully so with the five of cups here in reverse with the seven of cups here in reverse the five of cups normally talks about letting go or the five of cups normally is about crying over spilt milk you're focusing more on the negatives and you're letting go of this you're letting go of of focusing on the negatives it seems like lately you've had a tendency to focus a lot on on more of what's going wrong in your life rather than what's going right in your life. And it causes some indecision with the Seven of Cups here in reverse. The Seven of Cups normally talks about having a lot of options, having a lot of choices. But when it comes in reverse, uh, having a lot of choices and a lot of options sometimes creates some indecision where you're like, I don't know which door to choose, which cup do I choose? They all look so great. So it seems like you're letting go of these things. You're letting go of focusing on the negatives, focusing on maybe uh, maybe you're letting go of folk, uh, letting go of of feeling bad about maybe missed opportunities and things that you didn't do and you're going to start learning how to be more decisive this week which is beautiful and this is clarified with the ace of swords so the ace of swords talks about fast movement direct action you're starting to be more forceful you're like all right i got a lot of decisions to make and i'm not going to be focusing on what I could have done, shoulda, coulda, woulda type of stuff. You're going to just be more direct. You're going to be like, you know what? I've been, I've been, I've been delaying a lot of things for too long and I'm going to start taking more action. I'm going to be more forceful with what I have to do in my life. And I'm going to start taking more direction and action in my life, which is beautiful. I love that for you. So with the King of Cups here represented as an obstacle it seems like there is someone in your life um, who is very emotional, um, who is kind of getting in the way. And I think maybe it's someone in your life who's emotional um, and lets their emotions kind of dictate your actions. This is an obstacle that, that you might still be going through this week. There is someone in your life who... Who maybe with their emotions, they, they're they kind of like, mm, I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if you should be doing that pile, number one. And you've let them kind of dictate a little bit more of your, of your decisions. Because you do have a lot of options. Sometimes it seems like they've been making, they've been the ones to look at the negatives of things. 
and then they deter you from creating or making a decision. So be mindful of that. Be mindful of that this week. Be mindful of maybe letting other people's emotions and their negativities or their, their pessimism get in the way of taking charge and force of your life. Because you don't want there to be someone who, who, who'll be like, oh, pile one, I don't think that's a good idea for you. I don't really see that for you. And then you go right back around to being like, you know what, you're right. I have failed at this before in the past. So why should I try, try to do that again? Do not let other people's emotions and the way that they feel about your life and your decisions get in the way of you making decisions for yourself, pile one. That's an obstacle that you're you're going to be going through this this week. So it's great that you're getting rid of of you're leaving behind a lot of negativity. You're leaving behind maybe past failures or or things that you did not do in the past. Maybe you had some opportunities that you could have done in the past. And you didn't take advantage of them. And so you've been kind of woe is me about it. You've been feeling really down like, oh, man, I should have done this. I could have done this, but I didn't. You're letting go of these things. Keep focusing on letting go of those. Keep releasing those. That is the main theme for this week. Release. Release all of that gray, cloudy energy and start focusing on what beauty is to come. Because there's some beauty that's coming especially with the eight of wands here. There's some good things that are coming in. They might be a little bit delayed. You know, there's still some clouds here that are preventing the sun to fully shine, but the sun is starting to shine. You're starting to make some progress. You're making, you're starting to make those, that quick forceful movement in your life and starting to take action in your own life. So keep doing that. And don't worry about the naysayers, the people who are, are who are thinking negatively about, about, you know, your decisions. Don't worry about that. You got it. Look at this. There's the sun still here. The sun is still, the sun is still shining. The sun is shining here. You got it. Trust yourself. Listen to yourself. Keep releasing all those negative fears and and maybe past failures and focus on taking quick action in your life again. That's going to be the focus for you this week, Pile One, which is beautiful. I love that for you. And that's kind of all that I'm seeing for you. Um, so if you'd like this, if it's resonating with you, please, you know, give me a like, comment about it. Give me a little bit of, of information on if this resonated, what's going on. I'd love to hear it. Um, and if you have any other questions that you'd like to me to make a video on, please feel free to let me know. I'd love to, to get some ideas on what I can do um, to, to help you all out some more so that's it for your reading paw one i hope it resonated with you and i'll see you hopefully in the next video thanks so much for listening and take care bye all right pile two pile two baby boo if you pick this cute little happy face my little derpy happy face I'm not the best artiste, but you know what? That ain't my strong suit, but I got other strong suits. We all have strong suits, right? So again, since I cut my thumb, I really don't want to be applying too much pressure. So with my shuffling, I'm going to be a little bit more careful. But I hope the, the reading still resonates. So let's look at a general weekly overview for you. Pile number two. All right. So the first card will be for pile two, what your main theme will be. So I'll say my mantras real quick and we'll get started.
All right. Let's get a card representing Pile 2's general theme for the week. All right. What is something Pile 2 is leaving behind this week? What is something Pile 2 is letting go of this week? What is an obstacle that Pile 2 might be dealing with this week? What is an obstacle Pile 2 might be dealing with this week? What is something to look forward to this week, Pile 2? What is something you can look forward to? Beautiful. And let's get you a chakra card as your overall theme for the week. What is a chakra card? An oracle card for pile two. Hmm. Do I like this one? Yeah. I kind of want to get you one more pile two. I'm, I'm connecting with that one. But I'm kind of feeling like there's another one that wants to come out for you. So let's get you another one, Pile 2. Two for Pile 2. Yeah, I like that. All right. Let's get ready for your reading, Pile 2. So what is a main, your main theme, Pile 2? Eight of coins. Ooh. Skill building, patience. All right, let's get some chakra cards. Faith, beautiful. Representative of the third eye chakra. And completion. Representative of the sacral chakra. So, what is something you're letting go of? The knight of coins in reverse. An obstacle, four of coins. Something to look forward to, the eight of wands. Wow, this card came up in reverse for pile one, but you got it right side up, baby boo. All right, so let's get ready for your reading, pile two. So the main theme for you this week is, with the eight of coins here, is skill building, patience, working patiently towards something i'm seeing here you've been working towards something and you're still going to be patiently working this week you're patiently moving forward you're patiently doing working um building that strong work ethic which is great why are you doing this because you got faith baby boo you got faith that you know whatever you're working towards right now you have faith that once you can complete it, it's going to make everything worthwhile, which is beautiful. So this week, you're still you're still working towards a major accomplishment. You see the finishing the finish line. You see the end goal. And while you're not quite there yet, you are still making steady steps forward, still progressing. And you have faith. You have faith not only in yourself, but you, you have faith that you can complete this goal. And you have faith that you have you, your spirit guides, your angels, um, whatever deity you believe in or you don't believe in. That's okay also. You just, you have faith. You're optimistic. You have that intuition. You're trusting yourself that what you're working towards is going to is going to be completed and it's going to be worthwhile um now with the sacral card here also the the sacral card is all about our emotions and with completion this card talks about sometimes um there being there being some beauty with completing or with the ends of things so don't worry about what's to come don't worry about once you finish the this don't worry about what's to come afterwards. Sometimes we get a little bit of a ahead of ourselves and like, okay, well, now this is, once this is done, now what? Now what do we do? So it seems like you're, 
you got faith that you're going to be able to accomplish this goal. But maybe this week you might get a little bit too ahead of yourself and being like, okay, so what's going to be my what's going to be my next step after I finish this, after I finish this major goal? Don't worry so much about that. Just have faith. You know, keep working towards what you you've been doing, and then. You can worry about the other stuff later, but it seems like you're going to be very successful. You're going to still be working um, towards completing a major goal of yours. So now what, what can you look forward to this week? You can look forward to some speedy movement, some swift movement with the Eight of Wands here. The Suit of Wands, again, is representative of fire, and the Eight of Wands is all about quick movement. There's some fast movement, maybe... Maybe that's what's going on is that you're this week you're you're patiently working towards a goal. You have faith you're going to complete it. Um, and then you're going to and then maybe you have the feeling that things are going to move quickly for you. And it seems like they will with this eight of wands here talking about, you know, quick, fast forward movement, you know, heading in the right direction. It seems like you just got to keep doing what you've been doing, what you've been working towards. And some great fast movement is is coming. So what is something you can let go of right now? Pile two. You got the Knight of Coins in reverse. So the Knight of Coins normally talks about a slow, steady, steadfast knight. You know, someone who has their eye on their... On their on their target and they're working towards it they're very patient now in reverse something you're letting go of is that impatience it seems like you know that what you're working towards is a big is a major goal is a major milestone in your life and you're letting go of needing that fast uh, that fast um result is is what i'm hearing which is which is good you have faith you're you, you have faith this week that what you're working towards will take some time and maybe in the past you you used to get a little bit flustered that maybe oh man this isn't uh, i've been working hard towards this goal and it still hasn't come to fruition but it seems like this week you're going to realize that hey this is a major milestone in my life and it's okay if i'm if i need to take take it a little bit slower um still i'm still making progress but I, maybe i need to take it slower which is beautiful i love that so with the four of coins here being uh representative of an obstacle the four of coins normally talks about being uh overly possessive of your of your belongings or being guarded so be careful this week um of being overly guarded is what i'm may, mainly seeing or, or hearing as well um maybe because you are working towards you're steadily working towards a goal this week and you have faith on it you know you 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 know what it is that you have to do it seems like maybe you're not letting a lot of people in yeah, maybe this week that'll be a little bit of a challenge for you is letting people in, letting people know of what's going on in your life. A lot of people might be wondering, wow, what is Pile 2 doing? Um, they haven't really been very open about it. So just be mindful of that, Pile 2. Um, let some more people in. Maybe let them know. Be like, hey, sorry I haven't been contacting you. Sorry, maybe I've been MIA. I've just been working towards things right now. I'm... I really want to accomplish this major goal, this major milestone, because it is like it does seem that you're in a major milestone and you're kind of at the home stretch. You're at the home stretch and you know you're going to complete it soon. You know, and, and you're just letting go of needing that fast movement because you know it's taking a little bit of longer time than it needed to, and that's okay. So just be mindful of this. Um, of being overly guarded or overly protective, maybe secluding yourself, isolating yourself from other people where people don't really know what is going on with Pile 2. So just let some people know. If some people have been asking or wondering where you're at or they've been 
or you've been a little bit MIA, just let them let them a little bit in. Let people in in your life right now. Let them know what's going on in your life. Uh, don't leave them leave them out there in the cold, or leave them wondering. Just uh, of you know why is why is pile two being so guarded? Do they hate me? Do they not like me? Don't let let them know like hey no that's not what's going on. You know I'm sorry. I've just been keeping to myself lately because I am focusing on accomplishing this major goal. And it seems like you, you do know that this is a major milestone. And once you accomplish it, something to look forward to again, pile two, is this eight of wands. Things are going to start moving quickly for you again. It seems like that's kind of what you're letting go of is that you were hoping to get rid of or not get rid of this, but accomplish this or finish this, this major milestone in your life you were hoping to 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 be over and done with it by now but it's taking a little bit longer um and so you're letting go of needing this quick movement because you know that once you finish it <clears throat> even though it's taking a little bit of longer time to to complete once you finish it once you complete it there's going to be a lot of fast movement again pile two so keep doing keep doing your thing, pile two. You got it. You know, you got some great cards here. Again, just let people in a little bit more this week. Let some people know, hey, I'm not purposefully ignoring you or or you know, I'm isolating myself because I'm working on something and I really want to to complete it. I'm very close. I'm very close to it, to completing it, and I know I can do it. I just need to kind of buckle down a little bit more, keep being steady, slow and steady. And then we can like go out and party. We can go out and have fun. We can go out and celebrate because things are going to, this is going to get the ball rolling after I finish this major milestone. And that's, that's all I'm seeing for you, pile two. So keep doing your thing. It seems great. And so if you, this resonated with you, please give me a like, please give please drop a comment. Um, you know, let, letting me know what's going on in your life. I'd like to hear about it. And please also give me some suggestions and maybe some other kind of video you would like me to do. Um, I'm still fairly new to making videos. So I'd, I'd be more than happy and more, you know, yeah, more than happy to just figure out what, what it is that other people would like to know about, what they're curious about in their lives. So that's your reading, Pile 2. Let's get ready for Pile 3. All right, Pile 3. If you chose this beautiful little star, this reading's going to be for you. Oh, that shuffle was not the best. Let me do a third shuffle for this little tarot deck. Three shuffles for pile three. Why not? All right, let's shuffle this oracle deck a little bit. Baby boo, let's go. Yes. All right, pile three. Let's get ready for your reading. I'll drink a little bit of water because, you know, your boy a little thirsty. It doesn't help that I make a lot of loud noises and crazy sounds and whatnot. And I also like to talk a lot. And I'm a teacher. Woo! So I got to drink some more water. I got to keep on staying hydrated. More hydration for my station. All right, let me say my mantras, pile three, and then we'll get ready for your reading. All right, pile three, let's get ready. Pile three, right now it's three o'clock for me while I'm... It just struck three while I'm recording this video. So, okay, synchronicities, I see you. 
All right, so what is going to be the main theme for you this week, Pile 3? What is going to be Pile 3's main theme this week? Ooh, this is what you're going to be letting go of, Pile 3. What are you letting go of this week? The Magician in Reverse. Let's keep going. What is an obstacle for pile three this week? What it, what might be an obstacle for pile three? This card flew out. So you're letting go of some, some con artist, some narcissistic energy going on. There, oh. Okay, this is, this is, this wanted to come out. So we're going to leave that there. What is something to look forward to? Wow, pile three. Your energy coming in strong, baby. Got that star power, okay? All right, let's get an oracle card representing the main theme for you this week, pile three. Self-worth. Oh, baby. This is beautiful. I love it. Okay. Ooh. Mmm. Delicious. Yay! All right. What is the main theme for you, Pile 3, this week? Page of Wands. Mmm. Oh, yeah. You are just not letting anyone mess with you this week, is what I'm seeing. All right. What is an obstacle for you this week? The Hierophant in reverse. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And what is to, something to look forward to? The King of Wands, baby! I can't. I'm too excited for this reading for you, Pile 3. Okay. All right. I mean, Pile 1 and 2 had great readings, too, as well. But, like, Pile 3, baby, you got some... You got some... You got some fire here, okay? Listen. You ain't letting anyone mess with you this week. Why am I saying this? Because you got the page of wands here in reverse you're like listen i'm not gonna let anyone gaslight me anymore i'm not gonna let this little immature these immature energies gaslight me and tell me that i'm not good enough because i know i'm good enough i know i am a star i have self-worth you know this card is all about the sacral chakra it's all about our emotions you know what you feel and how you feel and you know, what makes you feel good? And you are not going to let anyone this week tell you otherwise. Tell you otherwise of what you're feeling because you know your own... You you know your self-worth. You know exactly your truth. You know your reality. And you're not going to let anyone try to gaslight you and alter your reality. And you're not letting anyone do that to you. You're starting to to really acknowledge your your true self-worth your star quality i love that for you all right so what are you leaving behind with the magician here in reverse so the magician normally is someone who is a great manifester who is able to achieve whatever they want to achieve but in reverse this is someone who wants whatever they want at any cost. You know, they are narcissistic. They try to lie, cheat, steal in order to get whatever they're, you know, whatever it is that they're wanting to accomplish. And pile three, you're saying not this week, not anymore. I know my self-worth. You are not going to tell me what I do and don't feel what I can and cannot do. You are letting go of this energy, pile three. And I love that. Do not let anyone's anyone's own emotions, their own personal emotions, get the better of you. Whatever they're projecting onto you is their own emotions. You know your self-worth. You know you are a star. You know, you know what your emotions are. You know exactly what it is you're feeling. And you're not going to let this person do that to you anymore. Or these people do that to you anymore. You're not going to let them gaslight you anymore. That is the main theme for this week. You are not letting other people tell you what you can and cannot do. And so now with the Hierophant here as your obstacle, what is an obstacle that you're going to be facing this week? An obstacle is that you're going to you're going to start making 
your own rules. You're going to start living life by your own rules. Maybe you've you've let a lot of people kind of tell you a lot of what you can and cannot do pile three, but not anymore. So this is going to be quite a bit of a change for you. And so this is why this is coming up as an obstacle. Maybe you've, you haven't had many opportunities to make your own rules, to live life by your own rules, however it is that you want to do, do what you feel like doing, uh, what you want to do, when you want to do, how you want to do it. And so this is going to be a little bit of an obstacle for you, but you know, you're a star, baby boo. You can step up to the occasion. You got it. I want this to focus. There we go. You can step up to the occasion. I believe in you. You can do it. This is an obstacle for you. It's okay that you, that you haven't had much experience with, you know, living life by your own terms. But now you are starting to. And it's okay if a li for a little bit this week, maybe it, it seems a little bit unfamiliar to you. It seems a little new. This is just a little bit of a challenge, just an obstacle. But it ain't anything that you cannot surpass because what you got looking forward to in the future is the king of wands baby so i'm getting two things to look forward to this few uh and you know this week one being you're gonna have this king of wands energy you're gonna have that passion you're gonna have that passion and that fire for life again you're gonna start soaring you're gonna start flying high pile number three you're gonna start doing what you want to do when you want to do it how you want to do it without letting other people know, okay? People aren't going to be tying you down anymore. You're going to be soaring high. Also, what I'm seeing, the second thing I'm seeing for you, Pile 3, uh, this week is, with the King of Wands here, you could also be, now that you're letting go of these narcissistic energies and these gas lighters, people who, who did not acknowledge your self-worth, and now that you are acknowledging your self-worth and you are soaring, you are flying high, what you what also might happen very soon is you'll start meeting a King of Wands type of energy or you'll meet someone who is very passionate towards you, someone who sees all of these beautiful qualities within you that you, that you also see within yourself. That's what I'm seeing. You're going to start flying high. You're going to start soaring. People are going to start looking at you. And being like, dang, pile three is fire. Pile three is living life on their own rules, on their own terms, doing whatever they want. They're very free spirited. I love that. People are going to start noticing you again. And for the right reasons. And they're going to allow you to keep soaring. They're going to allow you to keep flying. That's what you have looking uh, or to look forward to this week. The beginnings of flight beginnings of flying high again soaring you know doing what you want to do grabbing taking what what is yours taking what's fight rightfully yours and running with it or flying with it in this case you've known your self-worth you've had this self-worth and it seems like these energies, these narcissistic people would just gaslight you and tell you otherwise to where you would start believing a little bit about what they would say. But not anymore. You're not doing this anymore. This week is all about letting go of these narcissistic liars who would just gaslight you and try to burn out your dim, like light or dim your light, dim your fire, burn out your fire. And you're not letting that happen anymore, especially this week. You're starting to not let that happen anymore. You're making rules for yourself again. You're going to start living life on your own terms, not letting what other people say, you know, get get to you because you know your self-worth. And you're going to start flying high. You're going to start soaring, baby boo. You're going to start soaring. You're going to start flying high and all other people are going to start noticing you. And I will not be surprised if you'll start meeting some people with this king of wands energy as well who are very passionate towards you feel very highly of you and that's what i'm seeing for you pile three that is beautiful so that is it for you pile three if this resonated with you please you know give me a like get drop a comment let me know what's going on in your life let me know um you know what's resonating what resonated 
And if you have any suggestions on what other type of readings you'd like me to do, please do not hesitate to tell me. Um, I'm still new to all of this. Um, I've been practicing reading tarot cards on myself for about five years now, and I'm finally deciding to, to kind of put myself out there. So please just let me know what you think, what other ideas you got for me. And that's it for me. Uh, I hope you have a great rest of your afternoon, evening, good night or morning. And I will see you next time. Bye.